My name is Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the Game, and today I'm producing a beat from scratch using Ableton. All the sounds that I'm going to be using are from Composer Cloud Plus by East West Sounds. This is one of the biggest and most legendary virtual instrument makers in the game with over three decades of experience producing high quality, studio sampled, orchestral instruments, synths, and more. The player that they've produced is called Opus, so I'm gonna open that up here in my Ableton session and start browsing their library to find my first sounds for this beat. Let's try some woodwinds. Let's see what silk sounds like. Hmm. This is cool, I wouldn't mind making kind of a worldly flavor beat. I'm gonna do something a little down tempo and chill, but still danceable. Instead of playing over a click, I like to play over a drum loop. So I'm gonna go grab something out of Hot Tropics. This is a perfect vibe right here for me. So I'm gonna play over this. I just find it a little more inspiring than just a click. Let's visit some of the vocal sounds. Oh, these are nice. Maybe we could start a track with some strings, some orchestral vibes. Ooh, this pluck is cool. Let's vibe out with this pluck. Hey. Hey. I like this. So I'm gonna press the MIDI capture button because I wasn't actually recording, but Ableton's always recording in the background and then we'll quantize this to 16th notes. Just slide around the notes that got messed up. And we can very quickly have a loop to start off our beat. I'm gonna duplicate this track and let's layer this sound with maybe like a bass guitar. Ooh, this is nice and clean. I want this bass to feel a little bit live. string together, but I might just save the string for later. This bass is definitely a vibe though. Let's duplicate and visit Forbidden Planet. This is a great library for synths. It's actually their newest library as well, and it's full of really nice synthesizers and keyboards to play. Let's try a keyboard loop to go behind this bass line. Yeah. Now it's got a little chord progression going. And we even play a little bass line in there with it. getting a pretty solid musical idea with just a drum loop, a synth, and a bass guitar. Now I'm going to record some clap loops and airdrop this to myself, just to add a little bit of an organic percussion in there on top of the loop. And let's just chop this loop up a little bit. I recorded myself clapping for a long time, and we're just going to line this up with the beat, like that. And then double click it and warp it by beats mode, and I'm going to shorten this with the forwards arrow to get rid of some of that reverb tail. There we go. At first I thought I wanted the reverb, but now in the mix I kind of like a dryer. So let's layer this up, pan this around, and we've got a little clap loop. Next I'm gonna add Shaper Box 2 to give myself a little sidechain compression effect, and there's a great preset for that right here. Just to help that bass guitar sit nicer with the kick drum. Perfect. It's feeling a little bit more of a bass line. I'm gonna pick a disrespectful 808 from volume four, and we can just take our MIDI bass, our MIDI from the bass, and copy it down as an 808. Let's just shorten the sustain, shorten the decay, add a little bit of release so it has some tail to it, and let's filter it out so there's not so much click and buzz. Turn the volume down a little bit too, because this 808 is kinda of loud right now. Too 
disrespectful for this beat. We've got a solid low end filling in our bass line to blend with that bass guitar. I'm just going to color this and call this 808. And let's duplicate our keyboard line and let's have our bass keyboard on one track and our chord keyboard on another track. This way we can add some distortion just to those bass notes. I'll do some saturation from the stock Ableton effects. Let's just turn this way up and then parallel mix around 50 or 60. Next, I want to just add a little master limiter on this. The Waves L2 is a great choice because it doesn't add any latency. And then let's get back to our Composer Cloud Plus. I'm feeling like a little flute lead to go over this. Some little bendy notes like this. Let's record it and see what we get. where our chorus is. Let's add a little bit more percussion loop to add to the chorus, just a little bit more energy with a little perk loop like this. Let's go back into East West Sounds, Composer Cloud Plus, and let's pick a little percussion. Some castanets would be a perfect orchestral classic vibe to go with this. Very organic flavored beat. It's hey. a cool little effect that we'll just use as a drum fill, a few spots throughout our beat. Maybe we'll add a little snare drum here. Hey. Just a little pattern like that, just to help go along with the rest of the kick pattern. And let's just quantize this and loop it around. We don't have to quantize it all the way, maybe just halfway. Hey. Next, I'm gonna layer an extra kick drum with this. This loop has a kick, but not enough oomph. So I'm just gonna borrow a nice uh, Hot Tropics 3 kick, layer that in on the quarter notes. Hey. And we got a little guitar amp here on our guitar just to help EQ it and bring out some of that saturation. Copy our shaper box down. Hey. These sounds are so clean and professional. With very minimal mixing, we're already able to get a solid sounding demo of our beat in just minutes. Let's go back into Composer Cloud Plus and see if we can find some special effects just to add finishing touches to this arrangement. So let's add yet another instance of Opus here at the bottom of our project. And I'm gonna go into the East-West Hollywood Brass to find some low staccato notes to add as accents. Hey. I love choosing between soft, classic, and epic here. They all sound pretty good, it's hard to choose. Let's try going for soft. I'm going to borrow the MIDI from my bass line. There's a little accent on that downbeat. Classic sounds perfect for this. And let's just copy some more. 
more notes and another loop over here. duplicate this. Let's try East West Hollywood Pop Brass. And this sounds perfect. So I'm going to copy the MIDI down from this once again. And let's just adjust the octave down or up. Now that works very nicely. Filling in the spaces for one another. Simple, nice accent on the downbeat, differentiates our verse section from our chorus section that's coming up. Next I want to try adding some woodwind effects. Something to go with the flute that's already in here. Let's try the symphonic orchestra flute. Hey, it's a nice little note. Let's just slide it a little bit earlier so it's on the downbeat, kind of leading up into it. Just turn down the volume. Let's go in here and turn up the volume going to the delay bus. And I'm also going to add one more delay to do a ping pong after it. So we have two delays working together. Let's turn the dry wet down a little bit. our filter and we've got a perfect flute effect let's pull some more orchestral sounds like the string that we were working with in the very beginning the Hollywood solo violin has again soft classic and epic to choose from so you can pick the absolute perfect sound to match your beat let's do the classic I'm going to copy the MIDI from the 808. This epic one sounds perfect. Just a little accent to give that bass line something going on in the mid range as well as the low end. And this can be like the second half of the hook. Something just to make it feel a little bit different. Finally, I'm going to add one more effect layer, just a little cymbal or open hi-hat. Let's try Pro Drummer. I'm going to go for this spike set. Even though you can play a full drum kit, I'm really just looking for that one hit. That open hi-hat. I love the open hi-hat, it just makes a perfect jingly little cymbal that you could hit lightly. Just add a little bit of flavor with this EQ so that it blends in perfectly the way you want it to. Just filter out some of the low end. And then we have a little bit more impact on that downbeat. over to the downbeat and we've got a complete arrangement going on let's take another listen from the top we've got such a wide range of real instruments working together to create this pop production from the synths and forbidden planet that electric bass to start it out soft clipping, give it a little bit more gain, slow attack, fast release, just find that sweet spot in the threshold and then dial it back with the dry wet. made
completely with Composer Cloud Plus by East West Sounds. I've gone through all of their orchestral instruments, effects, samples, synthesizers, added some whole loops drums on top to get everything that you could possibly need for a finished sounding instrumental that's ready for your vocalist. If you want to check out Composer Cloud Plus for yourselves and explore a whole new world of sounds, visit soundsonline.com for more. My name is Reed Stefan, realest puppet in the game, and I'll see you next time in another beat making video.